Hello, we're gonna go over cassette reworking in this video. So here we have a Sunrace CSM 9.8 and 9 speed. They also make this an 8 speed and with 11T or 12T. This is an 11, but you can also get to 12. Um, you probably wanna go with this particular one, uh, the CSM 9.8 in, in either 9 speed or 8 speed since uh, this is very easily modifiable in order to do this. Uh, there are some other cassettes that you can probably modify as well, but um, you might have to break a rivet or something like that in order to do it. This one's pretty simple and straightforward. So we're gonna show you how to do that. And uh, in order to do that, first we're going to you know, take this part off this is just on here with a, you know, basically a fake uh, hub on there in order to hold it all together. You have these, which are just sort of, they sort of slot together. And then you have this part. And on most cassettes, this is riveted together. On this one, it's not. This is uh, a lower cost cassette. And you have a couple of uh, plastic or metallic kind of things that go all the way through. And then you have one here that's actually a Torx screw. This is a uh, T6. So let's go ahead and pull this off. The more we unscrew this, each one of these sprockets is coming off. So what we're gonna wanna do here, after we get all of these taken off, is to rearrange these. And we're gonna take some of those other sprockets and either put them on the uh, outside, the, uh, the, furthest, the furthest inbound towards the bike where you know we would, we would not necessarily get a good chain line with BBSHC, BBSO2, that sort of thing. Or we're just going to remove them entirely and use something like this in its place to hold it in position. So we've got that off of there. And you can see what we got here is a lot of sprockets. And we have some spacers. So what we want to do here is we want this, uh, we want this larger sprocket. And we want, uh, let's say, let's say we don't want that one. Let's say we want this one, maybe this one we don't want. So maybe this one we don't want to. So that's a considerably different chain line. Let's go ahead and, and look at that and see if that looks about right. We don't want to take it to too far of a jump. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to compare these and we're going to see if that's what we are happy with before moving forward. So I skipped ahead in the video a bit just to cut out the part that just showed taking out the sprockets and rearranging them. But the basic idea here is we want to we want to get this so it's a pretty good uh, progression here. We've taken out three sprockets, so it's essentially uh, six left on this one. And um, this was the original spacer that was behind there, but because we're using a, uh, a smaller sprocket, this would actually overlap somewhat and some of this plastic would stick out. So we've replaced that with one of the other uh, smaller spacers. And if we, uh, if we go like this, you can see that it's all lined up real nice. Now, what, what we would do if this was on a hub is we would put this on the hub and um, put this on here and this would essentially wants to go all the way back, right? So what we're going to do about that is we are going to add a gear clamp, okay? 
So this extra space here, we're going to put one of these on the end. And that's going to hold it into this position without having them wanting to, you know, flop all around all over the place. So that's what's essentially taking up the extra spacing that, that these sprockets would be taking up so that it, it holds on there really nicely. So this is an example of how this gear clamp would be if you had it on the, on the hub itself. Obviously this is not an actual hub, but you know, just, uh, just for a visual aid. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this on again, just to sort of show you what this would look like. So here we have the end result. You can see here that the gear clamp is taking up this extra space and you have all this space, which would be on the hub that would make this not work. And we're essentially holding that into position. So this is nicely in place and you can see it's not really, it's not moving around anymore. So this here's a stock cassette. It's actually the same cassette as the uh, one that we're replacing it with, but um, this one was not modified. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to remove that. Already got it started here, so I don't have to bore you with a lot of removing cassettes. So let's go ahead and get that off of there. And you can see, you know, this is just it's your standard cassette. You know, same thing. You've got the torques on there. This is our replacement. Right. So what we want to do here is we want to kind of figure out where this is going to want to sit. And um, to do that, we're going to need to we're going to need to get this off of here, and um, you know, pretty much just eyeball it. So we can see that's about oh I don't know maybe 10 millimeters backed off from where it would normally be. So that's what we're going to aim for. And, uh, you know, we'll give it a shot and see what happens. So we've got this fitted on here and, you know, it'll only go on a certain way. So we're going to put it about, you know, we're going to eyeball it about there. Go ahead and show you what that looks like here. pretty close to how we want it. One thing to keep in mind is that we definitely want this smallest one on there because that's the only one that has these ridges that will contact with the ridges on this. So we've got this all lined up and everything's setting where it should. We'll see if we can screw that down. If not, we might need to change where that gear clamp is sitting. looks pretty good so I'm pretty happy with that so at this point I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tighten down that gear clamp a bit more just to make sure that it doesn't move when uh, when we're you know out and about and that is pretty much it we can uh, we can go ahead and tighten this down a bit more over here. Obviously, the more you tighten down over here, it's going to put pressure to move that gear clamp. So you might want to just keep that in mind. You're definitely going to want that, that gear clamp on there, but pretty, pretty tight. I wouldn't mind going back and doing that with a, you know, an Allen key rather than just a little screwdriver like this but this is just a test fit so we'll 
give it a shot. And see if we like it. If so, we'll go back and tighten everything up. So we've put the cassette back on the tire and the tire back on the bike. We can see that the chain line is nicely improved here. And uh, looks quite nice. It's working well. And uh, you can see the, the gear clamp in the back is working pretty well. And incidentally, if you wanted to really keep this nicely in place, the gear clamp packages actually come with two gear clamps. So you could, you could double them up here and that would prevent any movement as well. So all in all, a very nice modification, and uh, I hope that uh, you find this helpful.